What is up guys, Rick is here with a new video and today we are going to talk about Tidal Essence, Temporal Essence and Twilight Essence. Where you can get them, what you should use them for and some tricks so that you can earn more of it. So, basically starting off you can find the essences in the inventory. The blue one is the most common one, the first one that you see. It is used to unlock hero focus skills and level up the exclusive equipment from level 0 to 5. The temporal essence is the next tier, so we can uh, level from 6 to 15. And then we have the last one, the twilight essence 16 to 25. So, um, we talked about the first one, hero focus skills, what are those? Basically, if you go into the resonating hall, click on any single hero, you will see often this notification symbol and this will alert you that your hero focus skill on the hero can be leveled up and you can see we can do that with the title essence, the blue symbol is here. We have two levels of this or three levels, the basic level that you unlock immediately and then we have levels two and three and um, we basically upgrade our uh, hero focus uh, through there. So now let's just do it as an example with Damien. First level up for 10. Now our hero focus is level 2. And then we can upgrade it to level 3. It is not very expensive to upgrade the hero focus. Uh, can be quite easily done and you only have to do it once. Now our hero focus is maxed and that is all there is to it. Um, the next one though and that is unlocked on Mythic Plus, is our exclusive equipment. And the exclusive equipment now gets a bit complicated. We can check that out on Carolina. Uh, her exclusive equipment is called Ice Vortex. And the, you can see the basic effect here, Snowball Witchery deals more damage and AOE damage reduces magic death. And then we have the long description. When casting Snowball Witchery, Carolina permanently increases the damage of the Snowball by 10% up to 7 times. From the third cast of Snowball Witchery, Carolina deals AOE damage to adjacent tiles with newly produced Snowballs and reduces magic defense by 15% for 6 seconds. Very nice effect. You immediately unlock it once you reach Mythic Plus. That is the basic effect you will always have that if you want to enhance that you will actually see three enhancements of that skill one at plus five one at plus ten and one at plus fifteen this is the same for every single hero not the same enhancement but the same structure so you have those three gates that you have to go through you level up your uh, weapon like this you can see not only do we gain some basic stats um, but uh, once we reach uh, plus five the game actually alerts us okay um, you will then unlock an enhancement to your skill. So, um, the way this basically then works is once you reach plus 5, uh, which will cost you a total of 150 Tidal Essence, we're not going to do this on this one by the way, um, you will then have another set of levels from uh, 6 to 10 to unlock the next tier, to unlock this tier. This will cost you Temporal Essence, 75 Temporal Essence. And then the most uh, expensive one is the way from uh, 10 to 200, which will cost you uh, 200 temporal essence. That is a ton. That is really a ton. You can see I can't just can't afford to upgrade my Mary Lee's weapon uh, a bit further, but those uh, enhancements sometimes are very much so worth it. That is different though from hero to hero. Not every single hero has skills that are worth unlocking. For some, it can be very huge though. Yesterday I made a video and we looked at Mary Lee. Mary Lee gets its insane buff through that. We uh, can enhance her attack buff by quite a ton. Usually it's only 30%. If you get it uh, to level 5, you will gain an extra stack, so it's uh, 35%. And then we gain an extra 50% of all of that on level 10. So uh, that brings it to 52.5%. So that is actually insane. And we even gain another attack boost on uh on plus 15 so it's very much so worth it to enhance Merrily's weapon to plus 15 but that can be different for uh, for different heroes like take for example Cessia. i have her at supreme plus i upgraded her weapon to plus five and i have to say that was probably a mistake uh, like i think it's it's quite unnecessary to do so um you gain some damage buffs later on but those are not that important and the plus 5 buff was actually absorbs one of the target's vitality each time when stealing stats. And I'll be honest with you, I thought vitality me meant HP. That was at the beginning of the game, I clicked the button, I was very swift with it and I thought vitality means HP. If we actually check out what vitality means, uh, we'll find it in the defensive stats and it means every point of vitality increases the effectiveness of the unit's received shields and healing by 1%. This applies to self healed, so she can just be healed more efficiently through that. And I don't think that is particularly insane. 
Um, it is nice to have on certain builds, but I think I could have used my Tidal Essence better on other heroes. Uh, for all of those heroes, uh, Britwin GG may actually made a list. I will link you that down in the description. They put it in two parts. Uh, first part basically being the priority and then the sweet spot uh, for the X weapon. We can take a look at that. So this is the way Pritwin basically uh, structured that is the exclusive weapon priority. You can see the priority they assign to that hero and the sweet spot for it. And oftentimes um, they use the sweet spot where you can get the most uh, out of this weapon and still be cost efficient on it. So uh, that is pretty good. I kind of like this list most definitely. Uh, for some things I looked at it like Rainier, they say very high zero and 10. So. In my opinion, for example, Rainier has a very great upgrade on 10. I think it's very much so worth it to go for that. Um, but in, also, in my opinion, I think you can see it. You can often see it on a hero, looking at it, thinking about, okay, is that really such an insane upgrade or is it like a 0.1% damage increase or something like that? And for some heroes, that is really the case. This list, though, is a nice structure, is a nice help, um, but it doesn't keep you from taking a look at your heroes and actually checking out what's happening there. You still will find this down in the description uh, and I hope it will be a help for you because I think it is very nicely structured and gives a great idea about what you can actually do with those uh, with those Tidal Essences and Temporal Essence and Twilight Essence and uh, if that is actually worth it. Actually, they can, you can also see X16 to plus 25, no new passive. Um, what they meant by that, plus 15 you saw was the last upgrade to the passive that you got. Afterwards, only stats, only stats that we get. So what I want to answer now, though, um, one little look at what my preferred um, X weapons are, which ones I really like. Starting off, we have Vala. Actually, I wasn't sure about this one at first, but to be honest, the plus 10 weapon of Vala is great. She restores 40% of her max HP when a marked target is, is defeated. And she also gains a massive movement and haste speed buff once she de defeated the first enemy, making her zoom around the map quite insanely so. And in campaign, the HP restoration often really saved me. When she killed one opponent, just got 40% of her max HP uh, back and was able to deal enough damage to the next one to repeat that again and again. So she can actually restore a ton of her HP through this skill. And this is actually her only way to really restore um, damage, uh, restore HP. So this is quite nice. Also, her weapon includes haste and execution. Um, execution, bit of a weird stat if you don't know about it. It's an offensive stat. It is here. It's damage against targets who have less than 50% uh, HP. So um, that is also quite beneficial for her and her assassin type. The next one um, that is very cool. We talked about Rainier for a second. I have the plus 10 weapon here. And um, while the first part is mostly revolving around uh, damage, and uh, this one, a very nice buff, by the way, increasing the damage taken by 25%. So for boss support, you will definitely want a Mythic plus Rainier. Um, but then we have this one. It uses the position switched allies damage taken by 25% till the battle ends. You will need him at Supreme for that. But once you have that, that is a very, very nice addition for boss fights to make your OD or your Mary Lee or something like that very, very tanky. And uh, beyond that, Fist Death, Magic Death in your crit resist. Some very nice defensive stats. Uh, and that is different from hero to hero. So you might want to check out what happens here. Uh, and... Uh, which stats are actually boosted. So, very nice. Um, those two are definitely great. Beyond that, uh, we already saw Mary Lee's one. That is probably my number three. It's like with a huge attack buff. Very, very great. And true damage from her attacks. Uh, if you want to know more about this one, I made a very nice video about Mary Lee before. She's definitely an insane damage deal. I was surprised to see her do that well. So, very insane. Last part. How do you get essences? Essences are a bit hidden in the game. We get some idea of where to get them in the inventory. If we check that out, there is this acquire button and it says Emporium, Dream Realm and Trolley. Well, that is not the entire thing. Um, we'll still check this out. The Emporium, um, I can buy them in the guild store for gems. Uh, it's a daily thing. You can buy 40 daily in here. Bit expensive, but if you have enough gems, that can be a nice source of them and can help you um, basically build a solid supply. So next thing um, on this list is Dream Realm. Dream Realm, pretty cool. You can get 
uh, get them in there uh, quite a lot. Well, not really there anymore, but uh, from the... Where is it? Oh. Oh, no, I lost it. Also not also wrong. From the reward. <laughs> there. I was confused, sorry. Uh, number 1 to 10 actually get 10. Then we have 4 temporal essence in there and 11 to 20. We have 8 and 3 temporal essence. So it's not really a ton. If you are outside of the top 200, you don't even get temporal essence. So yeah, it is one of the sources for temporal essence though, which means you kind of have to go in there and try for it because temporal essence is really, really rare. The other thing that they don't even mention somehow and I th uh, found that quite confusing that it's not in here, uh, it's actually the Legend Trial. Legend Trial includes a lot of um, of Tidal Essence. So if we check that out, when we go to 45, 45, 30 uh, Tidal Essence. And that is the case for every 10 level. F uh, 45, we can see it here on uh, 55. There is actually Tidal Essence in here and you can uh, try to unlock it. One little tip. If you want to go further in the Tower of Light, um, just as a side note, um, it will really help to level up your heroes, which sounds like a very basic tip, but actually, as you can see, my heroes are level 140, 140, 140, and 150, and I can actually improve the levels on my heroes right now, because my Hand of Resonance includes four slots with level 150. So what I do is I basically move my Light Bearer in heroes now in here, um, the ones that I want to use and now I basically who do I else do I want to use and we can go for Temesia I guess it's pretty solid uh, and now if I go back into the legend trial and try that again um, you can see my power actually increased and my heroes are now mostly level 150 so that is a nice tip to actually increase uh, your power for Tower of Light and can help you clear some stages that you formerly couldn't clear. I'm not sure if I can clear this one though, because I just did that basically. Um, so, might be a bit of a problem. We will see. Corrin there giving us some shields. Very nice. Oh! Oh yeah, we have an Igor situation. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes that. Igor actually just destroyed my team. Okay, we'll have to come back to that later. Um, but just so that you can see it, you can increase your loot there a little bit. Rewards are somehow there only listed as acorns and dust and it, well dust is always nice But you can get your title essence in here another source guild not only the guild shop But also the guild chest guild chest this um, is loot that basically is acquired by the entire guild and then distributed and you can get uh, Decide between two different things here recruitment resources and general resources But also you will always get exclusive equipment resources the Tidal Essence and the Temporal Essence are in here. Um, and so that is also another way to get those essences. The uh, last way that comes to my mind is one that is a bit more complicated. Uh, the Arena. Actually in here there are weekly rewards and those tier stages here, they have first time clear rewards. I already obtained those. I went to Champion. Not sure if I can if I can get back to this rank. It's gotten quite competitive, but if you achieve that for the first time, you will get all of those tier rewards, and there are four in total. And every single one gives you gives you twenty five temporal essence, twenty five twilight, twilight essence. So you get one hundred temporal essence, one hundred twilight essence, and then for the weekly reward, there are also is also some twilight essence in here. So, if you want all of that essence, you can watch another video of mine I made on getting champion, which might make it a bit easier for you to achieve that goal. And other than that, that is mostly it. I will link you the guide from Pritman down in the description. Personally, you know my favorites now. It always depends on which heroes you have. Sometimes it can be good to just upgrade a hero like Cessia, even though her weapon isn't that great. Um, if you just don't have another hero that has a weapon and you have all of the title lessons, which is a situation that can happen, just go for it. Um, don't overinvest into it. Maybe don't go into the temporal essence. T investing some title lessons isn't too bad. You will get that back. But temporal essence, yeah, that can be a tough one. So, that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I wish you a great day. We'll see us in the next one.